Hello my dear students. So today under this chapter origin and evolution of life, we will study about the mechanism of organic evolution. So it is the population that evolve and not its individual members. Fine. And there are the few processes, basic processes which bring about the evolution. Now what are those? That is mutation, gene, gene recombination, gene flow, genetic drift, natural selection, isolation, speciation. Right? Now the what is mutations? They are the alteration in the DNA sequence. Either due to the mistake when the DNA replication takes place or as the result of environmental factors such as ultraviolet light. Okay. Now there are two types of mutations, chromosomal aberrations and genetic variation. These two already we have discussed in the previous video. So these chromosomal aberrations occur by deletion, inversion, translocation, duplications of the chromosome segments. And these gene genetic variations, they result in the change in gene frequency. So this is all about the mutation. Now, Gene recombination. What is this? It is the exchange of genetic material between different organisms. Okay, which lead to production of offsprings with combination of the traits. Traits of parents, different organisms. Okay, and those traits that differ from which is found in the either parents. That is gene recombination. Now it occurs, gene recombination occurs due to the following reason. What are those? Dual parentage, independent assortment, crossing over during the, the time of crossing over, random fusion of the gametes. So these are the reasons because of that gene, uh, gene recombination takes place. Fine. Now come to the gene flow. What is this? Transfer of genetic flow means gene flow. Okay, transfer of genetic variations from one generation to another, from one population to another population. Fine. And gene flow is due to emigration or immigration. When the any particular organism come into that area or they move out. So that is because of the emigration and immigration. So this is all about the gene flow. Now the genetic drift. Now it is random change or alteration in the gene frequency that usually occurs in a small population by chance. Accidental case. So because of that change in the gene frequency is called genetic drift. Now this genetic drift can be studied by one founder's effect. Now what is this founder's effect? So, there is one example I will explain here. Bottleneck phenomena. To explain this, what is Fonder's effect? Now, here what happened? Here you can see that in a one glass bottle, which is having a very narrow mouth. Okay, opening of that bottle is very narrow. And that bottle is having a various kinds of pebbles, different color. Red color is there, black and the blue I have drawn there. Okay, so there are different color of pebbles in this bottle. And if we keep this bottle upside, upside down, now what happened? At that time, some of the pebbles, they will come out. And that is a chance factor. Any color of pebbles that comes out. So here I have drawn the suppose red color, four pebbles are out from the bottle when we kept that upside down. That's a chance factor. So only the red pebbles are here. Now when these red pebbles are here, we can see in this particular area, now these organisms, we will take this example as an organism. Okay, by chance they come into that area. Now what happened? They will reproduce and multiply. Then the number of these will increase in that particular area. Now when the number is increasing, the starting one, these are the four. So what happened? These are the founders of this population. So this one example, bottleneck phenomena. This is the bottleneck phenomena to explain how the chance factor is responsible for this genetic drift. And they, these four organisms that by chance they came into this area and they are responsible for that. 
increasing the same number of uh, organisms in this area and because they reproduce they multiply so these are the founders of this population and this is called founders effect okay so this is all about the genetic drift now come to the natural selection now natural selection the process where organisms with favorable traits are more likely to reproduce and here nature selects that which trait is useful for that particular organism to survive in that environment in extreme condition so this one is called the natural selection means by which way the nature select according to that there are three types of natural selection now what are those the first one is stabilizing or balancing natural selection right now stabilizing or balancing natural selection according to this nature selects intermediate organism the organism which having the intermediate characteristics so nature selects the intermediate okay and eliminates the extreme condition this is according to stabilizing balancing natural selection fine means here nature is going to select in order to balance the population and for this they select the intermediate and eliminates the extreme condition now i will explain this with example here the example suppose we take sickle cell anemia this disease okay now what happened here the three possibilities are there now what are those three possibilities the first one you can see that is the genotypic hba hba this is a normal condition where the person is not suffering with the sickle cell okay now here hba and hbs this is a carrier carrier that means the disease will pass to the next generation but not appear in this one the present generation and the last one is the hbs and hbs the offspring is diseased having the sickle cell anemia so this is the example i am taking here three possibilities are there okay now in area where malaria is predominant type of disease here i have written the condition also malaria is predominant type of disease now in this area what happened the normal people they will get easily affected with the malaria and these were actually they die in a early stage only because the total recessive that is sickle cell offspring now here what happened when we draw the graph here first one means the early stage the graph is like this mean the normal normal population here which is having the normal genotype no sickle cell anemia healthy person okay here one disease one and these are the intermediates which are having hba hbs carrier okay now what happened later on after some time we can see only the intermediate they are surviving one and these two they will go down the ratio so the graph will show like this here you can see so nature has selected the organisms which having the such type of genotype which are carrier because they can survive in this condition where the malaria is predominant type of disease so in this you can see the major part these are the intermediates one this one they are the more and they are in less means the healthy one and this one so this is to stabilizing the environment stabilizing balancing nature selection okay now come to the directional or progressive natural selection now according to this what happen most adapted will be selected by nature this is the main characteristic about this type of natural selection as in the stabilizing we have studied nature select intermediate see intermediate one will be selected and eliminates the extreme condition this one they have eliminated nature has eliminated 
in the directional or progressive nature selection what happened they select the most adapted one now how here i will take the example two examples are the industrial melanism and ddt resistant mosquito industrial melanism this example already we have discussed in the previous video okay now i think you remember that gray color moth and black color moth are there before the industrial revolution and after the industrial revolution so number of gray and the black color moth there is a change now what happened here before revolution when no pollution is there tree trunks are covered with the lichens so at that time the gray moth they are more in number because they sit on that lichen the trees and their color is camouflage with one so they are not very uh, easily visible for with the uh, to the predators but the black one they are visible so predator they eat up the all the black moth so black moth are less in number and gray are more in number but after the revolution pollution increases then the tree trunk become black color now the black moth they can easily camouflage with the color and predators they can see the gray moth now after revolution what happened the gray moth numbers reduces down and the black color moth they are more in number so after revolution here you can see i have drawn the graph also now the black moth are more and the gray color moth they are very in less number and here you can see black are less but the gray are more so here what happened growing in one direction here slowly the gray color moth going uh, that is going to be reduced less number and the black color moth they are increasing in number so this why it is called directional progressive natural selection clear now come to the next is disruptive natural selection now what is this disruptive natural selection now according to this natural selection what happened nature selects the extremes here you can see this is the most important characteristic so nature selects the extremes and eliminates the intermediate one under disruptive natural selection now here i will take example of snails so snails they usually found in sea beds okay now here the three color snails are there white color brown and the black color i have written here white brown and black right now white color this is the recessive character i have written with small b small b and the black is the dominant character capital b you can see here and the brown one is a intermediate so here that is a heterozygous condition so capital b and small b so three color snails are there now what happened these white snail as the sand is also white so snail they easily blend with the color of the sand and predators not able to see so they survive okay now what happened black color snails the rocks okay those are of black color these black color snails easily blend with the color of that rocks and the predators they are not able to see those black color snails also so they are also surviving now what happened the brown color snails they can be easily seen by the predators because we can see the brown color on the sand also and on the rocks also now what happened here first stage here you can see snail white color brown color black color all are here so you can see i have written black this one is the brown color this one is the white color snails okay now later on when the predators able to see the brown color and the black and white they are they are not visible because they are on the sand and on the rock now later on what happened you can see this graph changes how nature selected the intermediate to eliminate see eliminate the intermediate fine now here what happened later on the graph will be like this so the this one curve shows black color snail here that will show the white color snail they more are surviving they are surviving they are larger in number in the center you can see the graph is going down this is the intermediate color that is brown color so number of brown color snails reducing so they eliminated the intermediate color but nature selects the extreme one extreme one here the black and the white one 
So this is the disruptive natural selection. So under the natural selection, we have studied three types. Stabilizing, balancing natural selection. Under this important point is nature select intermediate and eliminate the extreme condition. Right? Directional progressive natural selection, direction or progressive. Okay, Because I have drawn here. Now here most adapted will be selected. Then disruptive natural selection. <clears throat> here the nature selects extreme and eliminates the intermediate one. So if you remember these points then easily you can explain or else with the examples also. So here I have taken the example of sickle cell anemia. Here I have taken the example of industrial melanism, grey and black color moth. And here the snail, three colors of snails are here. Now after <clears throat> all these uh, processes means the mutation, gene recombination, gene flow, genetic drift, natural selection, two more are there, isolation and speciation. Now what is this isolation? Isolation. It means that organism of the same species are separated and happens. This happens when there is something between the organisms that they can't cross. Such as a geographical isolation. Barriers are there. So they can't cross. So what happened here? They have separated out. Isolation of the same species. Now, last is the speciation. Name indicate formation of the new species. So, the formation of new and the distinct species in the course of evolution is called speciation and it occurs when groups in a species become reproductively isolated because when they are reproductively isolated, they can't interbreed. So, they will produce the different type of species if they are separated. So these are the processes which brings about the evolution. Okay. So actually this one is very important about the natural selection and the types of natural selection. So please go through this one and the founder's effect. What is this bottleneck phenomena? Okay. So just have a look of this one. <clears throat>